Porter, say hi. Hi. What do we have today, Porter? Uh. This is what living with boys is like. What? Where are we? Where are we going today? Preschool. Why are we going to your preschool? Are you going to school? No. No? Where are we going? Well, we're going to our teacher. Are we going to go meet your teacher and go yeah. see your classroom? Yeah. Oh boy, today we have meet the teacher. Well, 33 minutes. At Porter School. Okay, got it. And hey, Mama. Porter's very excited. He starts preschool one week from today. And Grayson, why are you dressed all nice? What do you have today? Picture day. Yeah, Picture day. So. I want the hand to Felix. Yeah, Felix. And then we have Avery. Say hi, Avery. And don't mind my tower of buckets. I am putting away three tea and empty four tea bins because I just changed Porter's clothes over because he's a giant. A giant? Are you, show me how you're going to smile for picture day. <laughs> this is the nicest shirt I had for him. Kind of boring because it's white, but it's fine. And last year for picture day, I, maybe it was a lot later into the year, he was wearing a long sleeve shirt, but today it's going to be... A high of 94 degrees, so we're definitely wearing shorts today. It is so, so hot. And what else do we have today, Gray? Dentist. Dentist. Grace has a dentist appointment. I don't know how all this happened on the same day, but it did. Are you going to try to climb the stairs, Avery? Yeah, but watch out for Grayson. Yeah, there's a Grayson obstacle. So yes, today is going to be a ridiculously busy day. I have my um, business call that I do every Wednesday, then Porter has Meet the Teacher, then my mom's coming over to watch the little two. I have to go to Grayson's school, get him early from school now that he goes to school all day. I guess that's just how it is going to be for like the dentist and then i'm going to take him take him to the dentist he just has a regular cleaning hopefully no cavities but we'll see and then tonight i have curriculum night um they do this at the beginning of every school year and all the parents go just for an hour and we sit in the classroom with the teacher and the teacher just kind of tells us what to expect the teacher just tells us all about first grade and what they're going to be learning this year and I guess what to expect don't like what a typical day is like. I look forward to these kinds of meetings because Grayson hardly tells me anything. I think it's just a boy thing. He gets home from school and I'm like tell me all about your day and he like barely says a word. Um, we have been doing what's your high, what's your low, and what's your buffalo. So what's the best thing of your day, best part of your day, worst part of your day, and then what's something silly that happened. And that seems to get some information out, but I still get hardly anything. So, yeah, I have a super busy day. And then tomorrow, Avery has her open house for her PT school that she's going to start in about a month. So it's a couple busy days and hopefully I survive. And like I said, it's hot as heck outside. This whole week it's in the 90s, like every single day and it just keeps getting hotter. I think today is gonna be the hottest. I saw 96, but my watch is saying 94, but who knows? And then, yeah, this whole week, just 90s. And then finally next week, it'll be back into like the low 80s, so. It has been super hot. We got the pool out yesterday. August is going out like with a bang, I guess. What are you doing? Are you mad I'm not showing you on the camera? Uh, okay. Hey. All right. She's like, um, uh, uh, Porter, what are you eating? A popsicle. Mmm. I got one too. Porter, where did we go today? Where did we? Where did we go? Was it preschool? <gasps> did you like your class? What did we do at preschool? 
Mm-hmm. And we colored a name tag. Mm -hmm. mm hmm And we met your teachers. And played at the ball playground. And played outside on the playground. And you played with magnet tiles. And blocks. And blocks. With blocks. They're in a bin. If my mouth is blue, excuse I'm eating a blue popsicle. Porter insisted that we have popsicles. It was a great time at Porter's preschool. We just went for about 45 minutes. And he loved it. He wasn't scared. He walked in, no problem at all. I mean, I was with him, but loved it. We saw a bunch of friends. A lot of the friends that were in his class last year are in his class this year. We met both of his teachers. They're both super nice. Been with the preschool for a couple years know what they're doing um we got paperwork for like introducing and what the year is going to look like um porter got a name tag that he has to wear to school so they just like know who he is and what classroom he's going to and he got to color it and um, we did a scavenger hunt where we had to find like where's the bathroom where's the sink where you wash your hands where is the um blocks where's the writing station like all that good stuff so we did all that and he loved it he found a friend that was in his class last year <gasps> there's Avery and daddy <laughs> daddy okay Bye. guess who's home from school Bye. we went early to go me, to the me, dentist me, me, me. how was the dentist me, 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 me. how was the dentist gray what movie did you watch at the dentist? Um, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. And do you have any cavities? Nope. Nope. No cavities. Woohoo! I have no cavities. Yeah, Porter, you'll go in November. What's that smell? Dinner. So, yes, we are yeah. back from the dentist. I think I got cut off earlier talking about Porter's preschool. Porter's preschool went good. I think I was just talking, talking, talking about all the things. Anyway, I was back home. Then my mom came over, watched Porter and Avery, went to school, got Grayson, took him to the dentist. All went well there. He says no cavities. They didn't do the x-rays, so might have some in between the teeth. But we'll find that out next time we go. We go again in March. But yeah, no cavities and they said his teeth look great so i was happy about that and they said he's got his six-year-old molars coming in which i did see that as well so that's exciting and they said his top teeth will probably come out sometime this school year so that's exciting as well so i'm back home but not for long i gotta leave in about 45 minutes because i have to go to Grayson school back to Grayson school to do curriculum night so i'm quickly making some spaghetti because it's easy for dinner so that the family can be fed while I'm gone. <laughs> it's busy, busy today. Look what we made, Mom. Okay, the boys told me to come down in the basement. What did you guys make? It's, it's a two double-sided marble one. What? Uh-huh. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. Show me how it works. So, this one reach to the top. This one leads to the bottom. Wow, that looks awesome. And so, when you put it in there, you're trying to figure out the way to put the marble in it here. Mm. Uh -huh. For example, if you do the top. Is it stuck? You need a heavier one. A heavier one? A heavier ball so that it keeps going. Hey, Porter. What are you doing? Watching this. Maybe about the sun and, and the moon? Oh, I don't know what he's watching. He was watching Play-Doh. Now he's watching like the solar system. Forget where I left off on my last clip. It's obviously the next day. Oh, it was the boys making that magnetile house. It's the next day. Yesterday was so crazy. I don't remember where I left off yesterday. Gray went to the dentist. I can't remember if I updated you guys about that. I think I did talk about this because this is like coming back to me now. It was a success. 
all is well. He did great. He's he was a little um, high energy. <laughs> I think, you know, I, I expect him to come home from school, a long day of working at school and just be exhausted. But I think I forget that like probably a lot of the time they're just sitting in a desk. And that's so hard as like a six year old to just sit in a desk a lot of the day. I mean, he has two recesses. Um, he does get to get up and move around. They've got like wobble seats and, and he has like specials. He gets a special once a day, like today's gym. So he does get to get out and move, but I can understand like the jitteries. So he was a little wild at the dentist, but it was fine. And then came back, made dinner really quick. Spaghetti is always my go-to when I need to like a fast dinner to feed everyone. And then I went back to Grayson's school and did curriculum night. His school does this every year and just you go sit in your kid's classroom and just see like how the year is going to be. So I went, there actually wasn't that many um, parents that showed up. I think a lot of them went to like older grades for older kids, which I was thinking about it. Like eventually I'm going to have Grayson and Porter in school at the same time. So like, how am I going to do that? I don't know but yeah it was just a slideshow and she just kind of like this is what we do every day um just talking about the different things they're going to be doing this year learning about addition subtraction um they do science they do history like history of like being a good citizen and just like starting really basic and then science is like learning about forces in motion and things like that um, she said he's not going to get a lot of homework, which I expected, um, kind of depending on the teacher kind of seems to be the whole homework thing. If you have an older teacher that's kind of like set in older ways, you're going to get homework. But if you have a younger teacher like Gray has this year, um, I think the new way of teaching is there's really no point of homework. Um, just do it at school and then they're so young to be having a whole day of school and then school work on top of that which i get i get it i get both ways so i'm fine either way but it sounds like we won't be getting that much homework and they did say that they are going to start testing this year state testing but it's just one subject they're just testing in math they're doing the map test this year i don't really know much about it because this is like our first experience in all this but yeah they're doing that in september and then they'll share the results with me at parent teacher conferences which is going to be in october so i will definitely keep you guys interested i'm super interested to see how he scores in this map test and then they also just like internally test um, their reading and language and they do that three times a year as well as the map but the map is like state testing this like reading they call it like dibble testing and that's like not official it's just like to see where the kid is so very interested to see how Grayson's gonna be I mean he's already reading he loves to do math so I think he will score really high but then again he's never taken like a state test before so I'm not sure how he's how that's gonna go you know some kids just aren't great test takers so I'll be interested to see how he does but overall, it was a really good night, um, learned a lot, and that was my day. I was like so tired by the end of the day and like passed out last night. And now we're at the next day, as I said, and we've got more stuff to do with school. So I did Grayson and Porter School yesterday. Now today I'm doing Avery School. Like I've said, I've said a, a bunch of times, Avery has gotten into a physical therapy school. It's just run through the county, so it's free. Um, she qualified for it because she's just a little behind on her developments. And so instead of having a physical therapist come to our home once a week, every other week, she is now going to go to this school where she's going to receive therapy two times a week, every week. So we're gonna go today, they have an open house and we're just kinda gonna see, we're gonna meet her teacher, but she told me what her name was and I, I forget, I'm horrible with the names, and kinda like check out the class. And like, I just have no idea how this is gonna go. I have no experience with this. My older boys never did anything with this. So it'll be very interesting to see what expectations there are, I guess. And like, do I need to bring like, diapers every time with her? Do I need to bring snacks and food? Do I need to put her in shoes? I never put her in shoes because she's not walking and they say barefoot is best. Um, 
So I'm just like, I, I don't know any of this stuff. So hopefully I can get some questions answered. We are gonna go back to the school next week to do a one-on-one -on -one interview just so they can like get to know Avery personally, kind of hear about where she's at developmentally so they can like make a plan to help her. And then Avery can get more comfortable with the classroom as well. So we'll see how it goes. Avery has been kind of attached to me lately. Um, wherever I walk, she's always right behind me. So we'll see how she does today. But yeah, that is our plan. So I'll update you after that's over. Also, one week from today, I leave for Tampa for my sister Kelly's bachelorette party. My sister Allison and my sister-in-law Ellie and I have all been working very hard on this trip. Um, I really hope Kelly is happy with it and loves it. We've made an itinerary and we've um, coordinated like outfits with all the girls coming and we've got a house and we've got flights and we have booked reservations and we have activities planned so I really hope it goes well we've put a ton of work into this and I hope we all have a good time so I'll definitely keep you updated on that as well